We haven't had any stag do. You're good to you're not best, man. <laughs> Jamie's. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not, because I've been struggling. I've been struggling for He thought you were best man and he asked him. <laughs> Call me Rude Boy, boy, can you get it up? Don't nag. Yeah, no, shut up, you. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I think I speak on behalf of everyone in saying Dan and Lucy are one pretty amazing couple. Lucy, as lucky as Dan is to call you his wife, you've got yourself an amazing husband. And I don't know Dan and the number one girl in his life, Betsy. <laughs> or as it was brought to my attention earlier last week, Betsy Boo Boo. <laughs> Lost so much respect for your fam, there. Tesco every weekend and we always used to call him the world's richest teenager. And she'd Bob's sit down with up. it, we'd be watching X Factor <laughs> or something, she'd sit down with a full pie and she'd go, it's alright, I've been to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I showed him how to sex. Hello, Dan. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. For those who don't know how we met, me and Lucy first met back at university in Leeds 11 years ago. Whenever I mention that fact to Lucy, she likes to point out that I wasn't the best looker and a bit on the chubby side. <laughs> well, today the joke's on Lucy, because this hairline isn't sticking around for long, but you're still with me for that. Now, I've watched Susan grow into a beautiful, intelligent woman. Susan. <laughs> Who the bloody hell, Susan? It's all right downloading the speech off the internet. But you need to change the name. 